Hey, what's up, Car Fam? Man, I have a special one for you today. So sorry for the noise, but I couldn't pass up showing off this amazing 2023 Audi RS3 in Daytona Gray. Man, it looks so good. This is the hardest car to find right now. Like, I've been looking probably for about six months trying to get my hands on one so I could show it off and share it with you guys. So, just gonna do a walk around video. Hopefully when I return later, I can actually do a test drive video, but just to at least show off all the amazing details on this, this car looks so sick. So starting off from the front, I love the new design language on the RS3. This looks so good. It's so futuristic. Yeah, it's more curvy in different ways. I just drove the last generation RS3 last night and it was amazing. This one I bet is just as fun, if not better. So I love what they did. I think it just looks very futuristic, but also still classic at the same time. And man, this car is so sick. I've been wanting to see this for so long. You can probably tell by the excitement in my voice how much I love this car. I'm a huge Audi fan and nerd and this car checks so many boxes love what they did with the wheels here um, it just has this super cool look let me zoom out just a little bit so i love what they did there where you almost have like the white there with a little bit of gray touches it just gives this like motion effect even when the car is just chilling like this and then you have these massive ceramic brakes there super nice and i love what they did with the caliper with the red really big i think it's larger than the last one i can't remember off the top of my head it looks massive if you see it up close it looks super good and then this is running the pirelli p0 tires so it's running the pirelli p0 tires these are 265 30 r19s so super cool um, that you have that there and then let's see if these are staggered because normally they are on this car where it's more of like a reverse stagger where the front is much wider than the back so let's see yeah, so 245, 35, 19 in the back. And then again, the front is a 265, 30, 19. So that's gonna help with putting the power down and then help with some of the uh, handling components and all that good stuff. So another thing that I really like, which I'm sure you've probably seen, is just what they've done with the lights here. So this here actually lights up with an R, S, and a three here once you like turn it on it has like this animation that kind of pops up so super cool audi always does an amazing job with their lighting design and all that good stuff and then my favorite little piece honestly on this car is this section here i thought it would be a little bit wider in person but it still looks really good but i love how you have this like wider fender flare with this section here it just looks so sick love this car and you got the like uh, piano black basically looking mirror caps. And then this here, of course, has the black optics package. Wouldn't get a RS3 with that one where everything is blacked out around the trim. And then, of course, even on the spoiler, looks so sick. Absolutely love it. I love what they did with the side skirt too. So as you can see, the side skirt there, it extends like basically a two-piece side skirt is the way it's kind of designed where it just has the initial piece that always would be there and then this here with the black trim with it makes it look really cool and makes the car look that much wider and especially when you think about how wide this front flare is there it just looks so balanced absolutely love it then the back side i actually like how it looks i guess the only part that i wish was done a little differently is just this section here even though I don't know how that would look if they just had like the body, you know, the paint there instead of that black piece, it probably would have looked a little bit out of proportion. So it does balance out the look, but overall it still looks incredible. And I have no complaints. I just think it's a little nitpick from a design point. Again, sorry for the sound. Hope you can get a vibe for what this is like. So incredible, love this color here. And then I love the oversized like oval exhaust there uh, the actual exhaust don't are not connected so this is more of like a garnish piece on the outside but then you have as you can see like the two pipes sticking out there super cool rear diffuser looks really good as always definitely make sure you can use find some sort of product to help uh, keep that material looking as good as possible and then that way you don't have too much wear over time Here's the side profile. So
so good. All right, so I just wanted to give you a quick walk around of this car. And then when I return, hopefully it's not sold. It probably will be though, but I hope it's still here in a couple days. Um, and then that way I can show you what it's like on the interior, all that good stuff. And then most importantly, take it for a drive because I'm sure it's incredible. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you in the next video. Peace.